Welcome to Paddy in the Philippines. So uh, I've been staying in Puerto Galera now, uh, more specific Sabang, and I thought I'd make this video because it's a really great option for people who are wanting to retire or can work remotely and they don't want the busy city life of Manila, uh, that, or you can certainly do it quite a bit cheaper here. Um, also, you can retire in Manila. It, depend, it depends very much on your lifestyle. If you want to live a luxury lifestyle, it costs a lot more. But here you can live, a, um, again, a pretty good lifestyle, cheap rent. Um, you, you think some things in Manila are cheap until you actually get outside it. And uh, uh, so I'm drinking at the you know, beer <laughs> restaurants come cheaper, groceries come cheaper, accessibility to fresh fruit and vegetables is much cheaper again. So uh, this is a nice balance. You're close to Manila. Um, it's only like 30 minutes, 60 minutes on a boat to get out here. There's lots of options to get out here and some are easier or harder than others. And so, so where do we go from here? I, I think the reason I think this is quite appealing is it is close to Manila and um, you've got a nice mix of expats and Filipino lifestyle and culture and people and so on and uh, everybody sort of mingles really well together. Um, I'm going to go and show you other parts of it but uh, Sabang it's not the prettiest beach. Uh, I mean people don't come here for the beach but there's so much to see and do around it. Um, Sabang is better known for uh, scuba diving so again if you're retiring and you don't just want to sit in a bar and drink your life away uh, even though that is quite fun um, there's lots of activities to do here so the scuba diving start you know you can for twenty dollars a thousand pesos you can go out for a dive you can do all sorts of things uh, i'm going to show you some people who have been here before they're familiar with the big apple uh, that's how the big apple dive resort looks now um, but thankfully it's moved so uh, i'm going to show you i'm going to do a video actually in itself on the big apple resort because there's so much to see and do in it and they've still got their bikini bar all the way out there floating in the sea um, going to show other bits few activities and there's a lot of videos we've made here so i'll post some links to that and whatever else because we've gone to see lots of beaches and coves um, we have our motorbike with us, so it's so easy to explore, go on to see waterfalls and everything. So this is a really, really good option to retire uh, on a really good budget. Um, I'll see if we can talk to some people or some people want to talk on camera um, about uh, their retirement here. It's particularly handy if you're already in a relationship and so on. And uh, for example, one guy last night, he, um, Dutch guy actually, but spent 25 years in California too expensive to retire in California and now is leading a great life here um, hanging out in the Big Apple a lot drinking how much a beer is there 66 pesos so that's if you're British a pound for a beer uh, if you're American one dollar twenty or something like that so uh, excellent option to retire uh, even cheaper uh, than it is in Manila so yeah I'll go and show some other parts of it and check out the other videos of things to do around Puerto Galera, Sabang and this big island <laughs> so yeah, this is the uh, community hall, uh, community pitch or whatever in uh, Sabang. So if you're a foreigner and want to retire here, but you're still pretty, uh, pretty um, able-bodied or uh, pretty active. This is, uh, they play basketball down here. When I was here four years ago, I saw a basketball game. Uh, the, their volleyball is uh, really high standard. So certainly, I live in Manila, of course, but if I lived here, I'd definitely be trying to join a team or join part of their um, the group and part of the games. And uh, I'll show you some of the other activities as well, uh, the boxing, the diving. There is actually quite a lot to do here. For very little money, you can definitely retire or definitely live here uh, for not not a lot of money and still have a good time. What do you think of it? It's a good game. It's really nice to watch. <laughs> yeah. So just out of the turn off the Big Apple. I think this is also owned by the Big Apple. <laughs> it's quite a lively bar at night, but when you're in Sabang, you sort of walk through these streets. This is kind of give you a good idea of what it's like. So yeah, when, the, when I'm saying about retirement here, um, I really like visiting here. So if you retire in Manila or go to work or live in Manila, this is a great little place to stop by. Um, if you're okay with island life, 
that's another little bar, it's quite popular. So this kind of gives you an idea. Um, you can go off exploring. Um, of course you can go off exploring and whatever else, but uh, if you're sort of content, hey, how are you doing? Happy New Year to you. <laughs> so, so if you're content with the sort of island life, sort of smaller, more local bars, um, you've still got, um, a, a lot of people retire here for, oh, uh, this is a girly bar. <laughs> so, hey there, how are you doing? Hi. So uh, it's, it's got a couple of clubs, we'll call them. Uh, there's another one. So yeah, this is the streets. I might stick my mask on the chin. Um, people want to retire for cheaper living to the province, but um, don't want to, uh, they still want sort of expat um, culture or lifestyle as well, a bit of a mix, and not everywhere in the province has that. Oh, uh, oh no thanks. Um, no thank you, I'm <laughs> leaving today, so it's cool. Yeah. So, um, so this is a nice balance of uh, che cheaper than Manila. Uh, oh no thank you mate. Uh, yeah. So this is a nice balance of cheaper than Manila. Uh, you still get the expat culture. Um, the uh, I'll post the link. The the Big Apple will probably be your social hub. A lot of interesting people that live here and also passing through uh, keep coming back. And uh, yeah, that's <laughs> and you keep getting asked for motorbikes. No thanks. Oh, and of course, um, yeah, everyone's super friendly. I know people are selling me, trying to sell me stuff, but they're friendly. Hey guys, there you go. So that's it. Um, I'm, if you're interested in cost of living here and so on, I, I uh, haven't gone into all the sort of nitty gritty details like rent and so on. Um, purpose of this video is more to just get a feel and an option, another option for people. I've been here three years and I just think Puerto Galera and Sabang and the surrounding areas, you've got everything you kind of need for a really happy retirement. Uh, you're really close to Manila, so if you have anything complicated to do with visas and so on, you're you know, a few hours you can get to Manila and you've got uh, cheaper living, cheaper rent, no traffic, uh, good social life with uh, Filipino locals and expats as well and you're beside the sea, you've got lots of activities to do. Uh, so yeah, for me, this is, after three years of living here and scoping out the whole country quite a bit, this is a really good option. For me, I'm still kind of young-ish and uh, need to be near the central business district, but uh, yeah, maybe in 10, 20 years time, I might be living here. So signing out, hope you enjoyed, hope it's been helpful. Stick in your call, stick in the comments as well, anything you want to know or I can find out. Uh, or make videos of or explore as well in the future. So hope you enjoyed, hope it's been helpful.